All right, everybody, I need to have a really serious talk with Bobby Burns and you too. What is up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. And what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well being. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And have the notification bell turned on because today, yes, today, I am announcing the winners of the Unfuck Your Adulting book giveaway and it's very very exciting there is like some really exciting news in this video that i'm releasing later this afternoon so please make sure that you stay tuned and watch so everybody who entered oh you're gonna you're gonna enjoy you're gonna enjoy this giveaway let me just tell you that all right so yeah anyways uh bobby just did an interview on the channel i don't even know how you say this guy's name it's like new figures or something i think it's like something with the f word in it i don't know my girlfriend was telling me but whatever you know how it is um so yeah i want to talk about a few things involving the car crash as well as the identity crisis and again if you're new to my channel this cha this this video isn't for bobby burns this video is for you all right this video is for you if you can relate to it or if you have friends or anything like that who are in a similar situation all right so i want you to take from the these things and just kind of learn and see what you can do to improve your mental and emotional well-being anyways i guess the first thing i'll just get out of the way real quick like my overall thoughts of the interview bobby burns did with new fickers <laughs> <laughs> That's fun to say. I, I'm probably not even saying it right. Anyways, the overall thought of it, like this, this interview was terrible. It was just awful, and and it's no, it's no shade at uh, Nufikers, Nif but um, just something I was talking to Tristan about. It's just I. I respect that a lot of YouTubers are trying to like go out and like try new things and it's just, you know, something that takes practice and experience and you know, even with Shane Dawson, we're kind of seeing how it takes him, you know, a while to kind of get into his own, you know, he went from the Tana Mojo series and Jeffree Star and Graveyard Girl and Jake Paul and he's only getting better as time goes on. But anyways, I just don't think the interview was that good, but I do want to touch on a couple things. So I, like the main focal point of this is going to be marijuana as well as the identity crisis issue that a lot of people are wondering about and what happened to Bobby and I have some explanations for that. But first, let's talk about the marijuana issue. So actually right before I sat down and recorded this video, I actually got a comment and I was like, oh, hey, I'm actually gonna talk about this in the video. And then I'm like, oh, hey, I'm gonna use your comment in my video. So this is from my Please Stop Enabling Bobby Burns video. And here's the comment from Kristen Craig. It says, I really love the work that you are doing and your message. You are observant and uplifting. Thank you. I understand the context of your perspectives because you are a recovering addict. I get it. That being said, I hate that it feels as if this video is demonizing cannabis. Bobby Burns is reckless because he's self-destructive and doesn't care, not because of cannabis. Cannabis heals so many people and gives hope to tons more. This is coming from someone who doesn't even partake in or utilize cannabis. I have just seen firsthand how healing and beneficial it can be, just food for thought. So no matter what, at the end of the day, people aren't, ah, you know, and this is nothing against Kristen, by the way, but, uh, it's really hard because I've mentioned my views on cannabis in like a dozen videos, but I'm just gonna repeat them real quick before I jump into it again, all right? So think of this as like a little disclaimer, okay? And if you guys wanna have a fun experiment and get into the life of Chris at The Rewired Soul, check out the comments and see how many people neglect this disclaimer. Weed, I love it. I love marijuana, I love what it does. I love the medicinal uses. I love how it helps people with anxiety, depression, PTSD. I love how it helps people with pain management and so many things. I love it so much and think that it is one of the least harmful substances that I actually voted to have it legalized here in the state of Nevada, all right? That is how pro-cannabis I am, all right? So that's my disclaimer. But like I say with everything, like here's the thing, like you guys, come on, like, you could be pro cannabis, but you don't have to lie to yourself. And this is just the thing, like, just be honest. Like I did an entire review of uh, a documentary about Kratom and like, I don't care about Kratom either. It's just like, just be honest. Just talk about the facts and be honest. But this is important because Bobby finally opened up and like explained what actually happened in this car accident. And here's the clip. Like, yeah, I got in a car wreck, a normal car wreck. Like yeah. ones that, you know, people get into. Mm -hmm. Like I was driving, I bumped the gear 
and it went from like auto to like a different yeah, yeah. different gear and it like started revving up and I looked down for just a second to try to fix it and I drifted over. Bobby, baby. This kind of thing doesn't happen to normal people while they're driving. Like you guys, in this interview, as well as so many comments and so many comments, like I am just blown away. Like there's so many people who are like, oh, okay, like a car accident just happened, but marijuana can't affect your driving. Like, what is wrong with you? Like I just finished saying that I'm pro cannabis, but come on people. Like they've done studies that says like drinking a Diet Coke before you drive could slow down your reaction times. You're not even supposed to operate a vehicle after you've taken NyQuil, but now we're gonna act like all of a sudden smoking some pot can't affect your driving. Like just be honest about it. Like even in this interview, like they're in complete denial, complete denial that weed can affect your driving. Like let me tell you first and foremost, like you have clearly, clearly never been in a car with me while I am stoned out of my mind because it is a nightmare. And here's the issue. Here's the issue where people try to defend themselves. And this is why I always try to, you know, pull from different topics. Like you guys gotta understand, like there's so many people who try to play both sides, right? So he's talking about how weed doesn't affect your driving, but then Bobby Burns goes on to say why he enjoys weed, which is it helps his anxiety. It helps his depression. It helps him open up when he's meeting new people and smoking a blunt with them. Like, those are all psychological effects that you're explaining, but earlier you were saying it has no psychological effects when you're driving. Like that's not how substances work. They don't just turn on and off whenever you want them to. When they are in your system, they alter <laughs> like the way your brain works. Like, okay, so again, I'm pro weed, but just be honest about it, all right? So yeah, so for the second half of this video, let's just talk about the identity crisis and what's going on with Bobby Burns. Like, um, you know, the, the, the interview wasn't totally awful. Like, I, I'm sure, and I, the only reason I said that is because there was a lot of questions that I seen were like, I feel like we're dodged. I feel like it wasn't a, you know, objective interview, but they did talk about a lot of things that people are curious about. And here's the thing, you guys, like I have no ill will towards Bobby Burns. Bobby Burns is an amazing creator. Um, I think he has hit a few rough patches. I don't even think he's hit a few rough, rough patches. He has openly admitted that he has hit a few rough patches. But the reality is, is that this dude is like 21, about to turn 22 years old. And he's going through a time where he's trying to figure out who he is and what, what he wants to do. In this interview, he talks about how he's no longer a YouTuber and he's just focusing on his music. And that's cool. That's cool, dude, do you. And this is for all of you too, like if you're, want to switch career paths and do something else like i get it i get it as somebody who's trying to grow a youtube channel um or a lot of us out there like we see that bobby was handed this golden like youtube ticket by shane dawson and now he's just throwing it away but you know like here's the thing and i've talked about this i think i talked about this in my martzia video like some of us you know, we were put, we had pressure put on us by our parents or our family to pursue a certain career or do something, right? And maybe they paid for our college or paid for our school and then we feel guilty, we feel indebted to them, but then we're not happy. So it's like Bobby wasn't happy doing YouTube content anymore. And he talks about how, you know, once he got on the other side of the commentary community, he realized like how toxic it was and how it made him depressed. Um, and this is this is all perspective. Like I'm able to watch it and like it doesn't like ruin my day, but you know, that's just the place where Bobby got it. Now he wants to pursue his music. And again, like I've said, I am not a fan of Bobby's music. His music is not my style, but it's music that other people like and listen to. And if that's what he wants to do and if that's his creative outlet, Cool, like you do you, man. Like I am 33 years old, even though some comments think I'm like 100 or something. But, <laughs> but anyways, like, um, especially for all of you out there who struggle with um, symptoms of like borderline personality disorder, or just some of you out there just who don't know who you are or where you're going, like, especially in your 20s, like, man, you just, you just gotta try new things and do different stuff, see what you like, see what you enjoy, see what you're passionate about. And you might be 1000% wrong, but it's cool because you still have time. You guys, when I was growing up, I wanted to be an archeologist. Like I just wanted to like go to Egypt and stuff and like scrub in the dirt and find like, you know, pyramids, like things change you guys. So yeah, Bobby Burns is changing and he's trying to discover who he is and maybe he found that, maybe he didn't. Like Bobby Burns might wake up when he's 30 years old and say, what the hell was I doing? It's possible some of you watching this video, like you might be around my age, you know, or you might be older and you can definitely relate. Like you look back and you're like, what the hell was I thinking? But that's cool. That's what your twenties are for. Like figure it out. Like, again, I have no problem with Bobby Burns, but it's just, I have an issue with 
getting into a car wreck, especially after hearing what actually happened. Like we were kind of painted in this picture that Bobby was just like sitting at a stoplight and somebody just rammed into him. And that's not what happened. That's my issue, okay? But I don't think Bobby is a bad, terrible person. And he says multiple times in this interview, if you don't like him or you don't like what he's doing, like don't follow him, right? Um, so like, that's the thing. But I don't know, like I do think like we need to cut some, Bobby some slack for who he is as a person. If he's not your style, that's cool. But just realize he's finding his own and whatever makes you happy, like this is my thing, this is my thing. I really don't care what you do as long as it makes you happy and it isn't harming others, right? So like if smoking pot makes him happy, I don't care. But if it harms others, I'm gonna make a video and discuss substances and different effects and all that kind of stuff. That's just what I do. I'm here to talk about the truth. I'm here to talk about mental health. So if Bobby is happy, he talks about how he's happier than he's, he's been in a very, very long time, like you do you baby, you do you. And this is a message to all of you watching this video too. If you're doing something that makes you happy, like, I don't know, I might even do a whole nother video about how like, like I've, I've told Tristan that I respect Bobby for just like moving through the hate. Like he is just going through it, right? He talks about in this interview, like nothing worse that can happen. Like the dude is lost, like, tens of thousands, if not 100,000 subscribers since the Shane Dawson series, and he's just like, screw it, and he gives absolutely no fucks. Like, if you wanna talk about being nasty, that's nasty right there, and that is something that I'm trying to teach all of you, right? Like, regardless of what everybody else is thinking, like, just do you, baby, just do you. Okay, so anyways, those are my thoughts, and I wanna hear from you down in the comments below. Like, did you go through a time where, or like, looking back, like, even if you're like young, even if you're like Bobby's age, 21, 22, 23, like, do you look back at what you wanted to do or what you wanted to be when you were like 13, 14 years old? All of you who are my age and older, do you look back at your 20s and see that you were like trying different things and like you had certain likes and dislikes and now that's changed? Like, let's have a conversation down below, okay? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because again, I make a ton of videos. And a huge thank you to everybody uh, supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing. There's some new exclusive content over there. And make sure you have notifications bells turn on because there's exciting news about the giveaway and I'm doing more giveaways soon all right thanks again for watching I'll see you next time